Thank you. Alrighty guys, I'm in uh, Kitsilano right now. West 37th and McDonald. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is the first time I've been in this area. Uh, this restaurant I'm going to is Bufala. So they have two locations, one in Carisdale and one in Edgemont. Uh, so I think the second location is North Vancouver. So I'm in Kitsilano, so sort of west side of Vancouver and uh, I'm supposed to walk for like 16 minutes or 1.2 kilometers and it's next to Caresdale Park so Bufala I think it's a Mediterranean Italian place where they have pasta, pizza, finger foods like breads and all that stuff so It'll be interesting, but I'll kind of take you on this little walking tour of Vancouver Westside where these houses are ridiculously priced. I mean, like a house like this, for example, West 37th, 2854. That would be, I want to say, 2.5 million or $3 million. It's ridiculously priced. Uh, Canadian dollars, obviously. So, uh, let's say it's 2.5 million Canadian. That would be, I don't know, like 1.8 uh, million dollars in US dollars. So, if you want to use the US dollar as the denomination of means, then go for it. Yeah hard and fast rule of walking to the spot um, I didn't really have any talking uh, pieces so it might just be me walking a little bit seeing some ridiculously expensive houses in the area and uh, yeah probably teleport to the restaurant oh yeah to put into context Mother's Day is on the 9th so shout outs to all the moms in the world and yeah I mean, like, if you haven't already gotten your Mother's Day gift, then you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. I know one of my friends, they're trying to find, like, an arrangement of flowers, but it's a little crazy to do that, especially the day before. So, beggars can't be choosers. Hopefully, this restaurant I'm planning to go to is still open. Um, in terms of the hours, they said they're open till like, 10 or 11, so... You never know, you never know. So, just planning on it. Walk in there, snail's pace. This is a couple nice houses. Boom. And another nice house next to it. Boom. Again, re oh my god, there's a dog looking at me. Uh, yeah, these houses are really expensive. Like Vancouver West Side, two point some million dollars. The area is really nice. Literally like a ten minute drive from downtown. Um, yeah, you're close to the beach, close to downtown, and a very wealthy area to say the least. So wait on it. Uh, I think this is enough uh, viewings of like all these weird looking modern houses but uh yeah stay tuned look at that seems like there's a communal box for bucks that that's pretty cool you take what you want xml pocket reference chicken soup of the soul drums of rebellion Yeah, I mean, like, you rarely see that uh, anymore. London match. So, they're pretty awesome as a community. They leave books. And this is a part of, like, a, a parish or church. It had a very grand-looking, uh, I want to say, chimney for the furnace. So... 
as we progressively make it further and further outwards, I think I see the exit out of this kind of residential area. But they got some nice looking flappers here. Very fitting for Mother's Day. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, you kind of progressively get out of the, uh, ew, I saw a rat. Uh, like the residential area and you get more towards like the commercial area where there's like more higher density uh, residential buildings, restaurants, so on and so forth. So, uh, I mean like all these nice homes, they're very secluded. They look kind of like old school, I wanna say. But uh, yeah, su still super expensive. More expensive than my area, but the area where I live, it's a little more uh, tighter knit in terms of like houses. There's a little more space in this area, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, let's soldier on. Uh, Bufala, like I said, Mediterranean, like pizza, pasta, uh, like breads, like garlic bread and all that stuff, finger foods. So it will be cool. Oh, nice. There's a nice looking old school car here. Yeah, uh, let's continue on. So I'll probably check in when I'm closer and I do the approach. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I'm on West 37 and uh, West Boulevard. So I will, oh. Magic box hobbies. So I think we follow is that black signage right there. I'm gonna see if they have some seating and we'll play it by ear to see how it goes. That was a long walk from where I came from. We'll kind of like play it by ear of what to do next. Stay tuned. Oh, they have another. Uh, bubble tea spot here. Mike, just come here afterwards. Chun Yang tea. Stay tuned. White spot. Oh, I think it's super busy. Yes, yeah, so they have like a patio session here. But looking at the interior, it looks pretty chills. But obviously, no indoor dining. Bufala. They got a menu right here. So I'm gonna wait till they clear that up, order up, eat it, rate it, go from there. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so came here, spur of the moment, ended up getting seating outside. So, uh, basically for the starter, I ended up getting the prosciutto and fontini spadini. So oven, fired, prosciutto, Rat fontini cheese, arugula, shallots, pickled mustard seeds, and aged balsamic. And for the pizza, the chiatsu or the pepperoni and the finocinoana. So fennel sausage, caramelized onions, green olives, smoked provolone, and marinara. I was thinking of getting a pasta, but I'll kind of hold off on it. I just ate before I came, and I got the San Pelo. Pour this up. And take a look at this uh, view on the busy street. They kind of made this uh, patio situation spur of the moment. So hang tight, sit, waiting for the food, wait on it. I think this pizza is going to be insanely delicious. I've seen the photos, they're just absolutely unreal. But overall, it's kind of like an Italian joint where they have pizza, pasta, and starters. But wait on it. I think this is going to be really good. But we'll kind of wait, hold our horses. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so they have given some cutlery here. Plate, fork and knife, pretty standard. QR code for the menu. Three essential oils for the pizza, parmesan, spice, and herb. I don't know which one is which, but that looks pretty 
nice that you can just drizzle that on top. You, like for uh, restaurants, when they give you the oils, it's a give or take. It's sort of like, a, you know, when you go to like a restaurant and like you taste the food and you're like, wow, this tastes like something I can make at home. The difference maker when cooking food is like legit the sauce. So pasta, it's the sauce. Whether it be like cooking the protein, like a chicken or like a steak, the au jus sauce for like a steak. I personally think that uh, when it's in the sauce, it's the difference maker of like being homemade and like a high level restaurant. So the fact that they give that little pepper, uh, not pepper, like spice pepper, but like sprinkle of flavor to make it super spicy, that's amazing. And uh, yeah, hopefully that it's not coming out too windy with the noise because I'm outside. But yeah, wait on the food. It's gonna be super delicious. I got like something with a prosciutto for a starter with mustard seeds. So it's like a charcuterie board and uh, the pizza. I was leaning more for the prosciutto, prosciutto, but like if I'm getting prosciutto for a starter and prosciutto for a pizza, it's kind of like doubling up and I'm paying twice for the same thing. So yeah, definitely not my cup of tea to do that, but uh, sit tight, wait for it. I'm gonna be super patient and uh, hopefully, I know the food isn't gonna be super, super filling. Just because like for pizza itself, I know my eating capability. I can eat probably two of these pizzas, a pasta, and a starter. So, uh, depending how large this pizza is, it's probably like a like a 12-inch pizza, 10-inch pizza, or something like that. But uh, yeah, when it comes with like these sauces, uh, maybe it'll fill me up more, or maybe it's kind of like a doughy pizza, and I'm gonna start chew, 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 and I'm gonna get like really tired. But uh, to recap on this restaurant, Buffalo, two locations. It seems super busy right now. A lot of people are pulling up, but uh, wait on it, stay tuned. I'm gonna see what's up with this pizza and prosciutto. Uh, what's going on, guys? It's uh, Jay here. So I got my starter right here, and I'll do a quick recap of what it actually is. So. Uh, for this starter, it's prosciutto and uh, fontini, fontina spadini, so oven-fired prosciutto, wrapped, fo uh, wrapped fontina cheese, arugula, shallots, pickled mustard seeds, and aged balsamic. Looks super fancy. Looks super fancy. I'm um, going to do it like a skewer, I guess. Maybe angle this just to be on the safe side. Closer towards me, and I'll probably use a fork to finish off the arugula here. First bite, see how this uh, prosciutto with wrapped in cheese is. Mm. That is not too shabby. It's like a salad, I would say. Might just get some sauce here. I was actually quite impressed. It yeah. has a very nice flavor to it. Oh, great. Yes. Glad you're enjoying it. Thank you, yes. Ooh. Oh, wow. The pizza's already here, too. There Excellent. You are. You're welcome. Enjoy. Yeah, thanks again. Alrighty, guys. So, 
I'm gonna pause this video right quick, take some photos in a real hot minute, come back, see what's up. But I really like the fresh kind of like basil on top, I think it is. It's kind of like a margar margaretti style. But give me a hot minute, I'll take some photos, be right back. Alrighty guys, so just propped up uh, my phone light. So the prosciutto with mustard seeds, this is unreal. This is like a salad, straight up. Just full of flavor. So I'm going to take some of this, uh, I assume this is like some chili oil because it's red, and uh, dive into this, uh, this pizza here. So, That is one intensely fresh pizza. <laughs> mm. Wow. Normally when I eat pizza, it's very doughy, but this one is nice, thin and crispy. And the amount of cheese on this pizza as well, they just kind of pepper it in there. Where you get like the the pizza sauce, the cheese, and the uh, meat in there as well. Get some uh, sparkling water. Cheers. You guys gotta see this pizza from an aerial perspective. I want to do it justice. So, such a minimalistic style pizza, but it's got that wood fire kind of taste to it. Very thin and crispy. It's just so good. And again, I'll do a quick recap of the. Uh, ingredients on the pizza. It's a fennel ch chioa, so fennel sausage, so fennel sausage, um, caramelized onions, green olives, smoked provolone, and marinara. Maybe I'll try some of these other uh, oils here. I'm gonna call them essential oils, uh, but yeah, probably do a quick pour. This is essentially a cheat code. 
uh, oil kind of like spices it up. You should do it more original. But uh, what the hey, live life. They provide it, you try it. So. I think this oil is the uh, Parmesan because it's very creamy, very um, salty in that room. Crispy undercarriage. I'm gonna try this other sauce. I think this might be balsamic. Hopefully it's not. I think it's like olive oil. Olive oil, pesto. It's really hard to decide which oil I like the most because they're all good. But uh, I might just do a little combination of this oil herbed pesto and like the spicy one potentially. Cheers. You know what, this eating part was too extended. I'm gonna beat my own devices with this pizza. I'll recap with the review. Stay tuned, guys. I'll cheers you. I'll come back with the review. Sit tight. <laughs> See you soon. Hey guys, it's Jake here uh, on the street of West 38 and West Boulevard so I'm gonna catch the bus to go home but wanted to recap of Bufala so their pizzas are margariti style where it's kind of like wood, wood fire or charcoal fire and minimalistic sauce some cheese and the fresh ingredients so it's crispy not too carb heavy for the pizza in terms of the dish I would have to say like in its entirety so the pizza I would say it's it's fresh but it's kind of like those average margariti pizzas um, so yeah in terms of that like it was crispy it was fresh but was it like the best tasting pizza 
that's debatable. Um, in terms of the uh, prosciutto wrapped in uh, cheese, I thought that was like a game changing uh, dish. Something like that can definitely give me the vibes that like, hey, Italian food is like probably very intense like in Italy. So that kind of prefaced that. In terms of a rating, I would give it a solid eight and a half. It's definitely worth trying if you're in the area. Uh, definitely not if you're going like a couple towns over and you're just like not in the area. Just because like there are kind of like more filling pasta joints or pizza joints or a combination of the two. So yeah, eight and a half, Bufala in Carriage and in North Man. But that's my thoughts. Take it easy. Signing off. Back now.